Hey, good morning, it's John Gillen from your morning newswire. We've got Friday, thankfully, November 9th. Uh, markets are all lower this morning, but you know, keep in mind the election uh, gap up of 500 points, so giving back a bit is to be expected. Problem this morning is investors have voted and don't want a Fed funds rate increase in December, which looks more and more probable. Uh, the dollars rallied uh, this morning as a result. Uh, quickly over in China, auto sales there were weak. And that makes sense. Uh, Win Gaming yesterday said that Macau Gaming was going to basically a mess. So big ticket items are fading, and certainly folks are not traveling to Macau to play the back rack tables. So growth concerns in China are, are typical. Uh, also, Chinese banks were hammered on news that they'll have to dish out more loans to private companies. Isn't that very communistic of them? It's a communist country. Uh, oil is down another 1.25%. Classic bear market. This is the longest losing streak I can remember. Uh, Saudis, Iran, fracking here, all record levels of supply. And markets have a, a correlation to oil. If you looked when West Texas made a move up to 75, that's when the market, the stock market, had done its best. Rolling over here, it's something to pay attention, attention to. Uh, I would note that natural gas prices are soaring in front of a cold snap, which is going to hit just about everywhere in the U.S. next week. Uh, earnings, some lousy earnings out of Yelp, a company called Natera, N-T-R-A, Trade Desk, TTD, Gap Lower, uh, Activision, ePay, Skyworks, and um, L-O-P-E, which is online education. Uh, just came out October producer prices, they jumped 2.6%, so inflation is back, never left and that gives the Fed more impetus to raise in December. And we're back to all the old demons. Industrials did complain going into the quarter about rising costs, and this is what happens at this point in the cycle. So the shorts are going to come back into that space uh, today. So what do you do? Uh, China's no surprise. That's baked in. Uh, the Fed is a disappointment, but the model has worked, the Fed model. So I think that we give back half of the election gains. You buy technology, particularly the cloud names, you buy the Russell 2000, apparel, retail, uh, big box retailer, things like Target, Costco, Walmart, Christmas is going to be just fine, right, Ed? Uh, and continue like airlines and rails, that's a play on oil, lower oil prices. Also restaurants, people more likely to get in the car, go travel, buy a meal. Anyway, we'll get through this pretty quick. Everybody have a nice weekend. Thank you. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to press that like button. Comment down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, please. And remember to click that bell to be sure you don't miss out on our newest updates. Thanks a lot.